Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to recap potential difference, also known as voltage. So let's get into it. Just like current, potential difference was also seen in the electricity topic for the National 5 Physics course, but it also appears in the Higher Physics Electricity course, so this will act as a bit of a recap. The first thing we've got here is the definition of voltage or potential difference. And it says that the voltage of a power supply is the energy given to each coulomb of charge that passes through it. And this was the definition of voltage or potential difference that we saw at National 5 level. And then it says voltage is also referred to as potential difference, which can be shortened to PD. From this definition, we can conclude that 1 volt is equal to 1 joule per coulomb. And that comes from the wording here. So remember we said the voltage of a power supply is the energy given, so energy is measured in joules, to each coulomb of charge. So that is energy per coulomb. So 1 volt is equal to 1 joule per coulomb. For example, if you were asked what does it mean if a car battery has a voltage of 12 volts or a potential difference of 12 volts, well you would need to say that 12 joules of energy is supplied to each coulomb of charge that passes through the battery. In a circuit, you should also remember the device used to measure voltage or potential difference across a component and this is called a voltmeter. So remember voltage is measured using a voltmeter. And this is the circuit symbol for it here, where we've got a big circle with a capital V inside it. And lastly, although it doesn't appear here, you should remember the circuit rules for voltage or potential difference in a series and a parallel circuit. So remember, in a series circuit, the voltage across each of the components in the circuit must add up to give you the voltage across the battery. Whereas in a parallel circuit, the voltage across each branch in the parallel circuit is equal to the voltage across the battery. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.